Hi Pisces, it's Leonora. How you doing? Uh, thank you for stopping by. For those who have viewed me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. Um, my Pisceans, I love you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to say that. Um, I'm doing your general tarot card reads today, okay? Um, if you're looking for your love reads, I did them. They're out there. I did all 12 zodiac signs. So right now I'm just concentrating on love reads, okay? Today I'm going to be using my Edgar Allan Poe tarot deck. And I'm going to clarify with my mermaid tarot. Alrighty, let's get started. Alright, so first spread, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Fool. And we have the Magician. Something special about this, this first spread here. Hold on. So I got the Fool and the Magician in the upright, but my King of Pentacles was not. Um... Uh, this is interesting. Um, <laughs> somebody's trying to leave a relationship to go to an ex. What the hell is with this exes? <laughs> Why does everybody want to go back to their ex? My ex. All my exes in Texas. And all right, whatever. Um. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at, okay? Okay, let's, let's put the full card. The full card is in the, right in the middle. Um, so I got two people here, right? Um, now, one is going forward, right? Looking forward, all right, to my King of Pentacles. I don't know who this King of Pentacles is. I'm assuming that this King of Pentacles was an ex. It was in the reverse. It could have been a committed relationship, a marriage, um you know that that faded away fizzled out whatever the case may be um nevertheless you, this is a you know a husband a, a wife a, a a partner that um that was pretty stable um in all aspects um you know i felt like they might have lacked some type of emotional um empathy or or maybe lack of um better communication um with my king of pentacles i don't this is someone's ex is what i'm saying um i'm just i'm just it doesn't have to be those attributes and you know they may they might have been amazing communicators and and, and were amazing uh em, empathetic people but um i just i just don't know why i feel that with some of you um the fool wants to go back to this ex okay Let, let's let's just get rid of this guy here the fool wants to get rid of this like wants to go back to this ex now if i take the fool out of the picture and i i'm looking at this um this guy in the cloak um he's looking at the magician um this magician is a current partner so it <sighs> I don't know, do you see that like it's just like and I, i'm trying to figure out is it two people i know there's three for sure but is there four people um well i'm getting two stories i'm i'm seeing with my full card that these two are in a relationship okay look it looks like you just started this relationship brand new you know out the lot and so um but someone is looking to, to um someone is uh looking you know I, I don't know maybe they're not happy in this relationship i don't know it's brand new and so um they're looking at their ex like maybe you know we shouldn't have broken up maybe you actually you know i was better off you know with you than i than i am with this person okay that's how i'm looking at it but your person don't even want to be with you this person is looking um, at another person, a magician, which is very interesting. Yeah, that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah. One, two, three, four energies. Yeah, interesting. 
I don't know if you can see that. Bear with me sometimes because I have a huge imagination. Um, but I, I, I am also very... Um, I just pick up energy in a weird way. I'm sorry. I know. It's weird. But I, it's, I'm weird. What do you want me to do? I have an Aquarius moon. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what, the, what this... Um, this current, listen, you put yourself in whatever situation you're in. I don't know what situation. This could be, you could be honestly cheating on your person, okay, with this other person. And and this is who, who you're with now, the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, if you see a depiction of a man or a woman um, or a mermaid, I'm not talking to a specific gender, all right? It is energies. They're energies. If you resonate with it, you, you resonate with it, right? That you don't have to resonate with all of it, but you know, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, it's not your story. Now, for a small group of you, you're still with this King of Pentacles, but you decided to go um, behind the King of Pentacles back and cheat on someone else, uh, ch cheat with someone else. But yet, the person you're cheating with. Or the person you left your king of pentacles for is not even worried about you they're worried about this magician i'm trying to figure out who this ma magician is um it's a virgo gemini energy the fool is like an aries aquarius energy my king of pentacles is all earth energy right taurus virgo um, capricorn if that means anything it doesn't have to be uh let's clarify because i'm very curious about this magician um it's being elusive. It's an energy, okay? Um, but like a person. All right, to clarify it, I have my Seven of Swords, my Five of Pentacles, and my Judgment. All right, so I mean, Seven of Swords came out. Surprise, surprise. Um, but my um, five of pentacles and my judgment is in the reverse. Yes, yeah, so some of you are cheating. Oh, hell to the yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I think it's, it's, it's for a small group of you that, that you're, you're in a new relationship, but you're, think, you're still thinking about your king of pentacles, you know? Um, but for a lot of you, if it resonates, um, this person's cheating on you. And, um, but they still want to be with you. They don't want to lose a relationship with you. Maybe you're, you're separated for a little while and, and taking a break. I don't know. Um, so maybe, you know, if cheating is too harsh, then it's too harsh. You know, maybe you guys are taking a little break in in your you know seeing someone doesn't have to be sexually but that's for a handful of you if maybe two <laughs> maybe two of you um otherwise i sense that you know um the cheating is very strong here after my class the clarifications in front of my face is, cheating is very strong here <sighs> i have seven of pen seven of swords and five of pentacles here um, with the judgment, like all these energies just says it's, it's a cheating energy, just cheating. Let me see. Um, like my magician was a little elusive and I'm trying to figure out why. Um, mm, I know why. Cause your king of pentacles knows the magician. Your king of pentacles know you're the magician. So of course the magician doesn't want the magician's like shh, 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 shh. you ain't gotta tell them okay who I am. You could say they're cheating, but don't just please don't tell them who I am. <laughs> just please <laughs> be quiet with that. I, I'm not even making a joke out of it. I mean I just started to read anyway, but we'll get to you, magician. We'll get to you. You can't escape from you can't escape for too long. Okay, my spirit guys won't allow it. Um. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I'm getting from all these all these three cards. That's it. It's just it's just clarifying that it's a cheating situation. I I, I can't get anything out of it, but that. Second spread. Um, Nine of Cups. Uh, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as well, and then Four of Wands. Wow. So my Nine of Cups is happy. What did I say that? My Nine of Cups was happy? I didn't mean to say that. Um, I didn't mean to say that at all. <laughs> I swear to God. Just, what the fuck did that come from? My, I mean, maybe I was looking at her face. I mean, okay, yes, it's the Nine of Cups, Leonore. <sighs> it's the minor to the sun. You know, it's happy. You should. It's a happy card. It is a happy card. So maybe that came out of my. I didn't mean to say. I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say it's a nine of cups in the upright. That's all I wanted to say. Nine of cups in the upright. But I said nine of cups was happy. Is that what I said? My nine of cups was happy. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't know who's cheating on who. They fucking know. Yeah. They know. And, and, and even if it, if they found out, you know, and you guys are working things out together, um, God, this is, this is such a Piscean read. Sorry. Between you and Virgos, which is your polar opposite, I, I can't with you guys and your soap opera readings. Um, <laughs> just. I'm only kidding. Not. Um, <laughs> just makes me laugh. Because um, it never fails with you guys. Um, I'm okay with it. It's okay. Oh, God. <laughs> this queen. That's who it is. Okay, you're the magician, bitch. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm like, who are you, Queen of Pentacles? Where do you fit in? Um, yeah, here, this is where you fit in, with the magician. Th that's you. That's you. Okay? I knew you couldn't stay quiet for long. And listen, again, if you see a man or a woman, I don't want you to think that I'm talking to a specific gender. It's just, if I say he or she, it's because, obviously, the depiction or the image is that. This is a gold digger. He's a gold digger. He's a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles. Um, and it doesn't have to necessarily mean gold digger, but this person likes to go by people's status. You know, like, you know, the type of person that would rather pick someone, um, you know, who's driving a, 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 a brand new Benz, you know, a brand new Mercedes Benz, um, as opposed to someone that is just driving a 2008 Toyota Corolla. Don't ask me why I was so specific with that one. Um, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, and I, I know gold digger is such a harsh of a word. I don't want to say gold digger. But yeah, I do. But this person already has their money because it's a queen of pentacles. So I don't want to say this person likes to take other people's money, um, you know, for a game. Because they're, it looks like they're well off, um, but well off meaning they, 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 they could hold their own. They could hold their own. So, um, but they still prefer to dig into somebody else's pockets, meaning, you know, they want somebody to, you know, buy things for them. And not just, you know, little things. I mean, lavish. This is a goddamn queen of pentacles. You gotta, you gotta come correct or don't come at all. Um, Yeah. So uh, let's make it clear. If you're in a new relationship, um, your person, okay, is looking at, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Maybe it's just a new person. Maybe they want to cheat, you know, um, on you. You just met this person, but they want to cheat on you with this person. Um, or they're just friends with benefits and they're still thinking about the good sex they had, you know, a week ago. 
um, that's if you're in a new relationship. Now, if you're cheating with your man, if you're cheating on your man, your woman, your partner, um, you know, um, I think that your person, um, I think your person is with, with thinking about this magician for good sex. Um, but the characteristics of this Queen of Pentacles still, still, um, it's still the same as far as the energy that I was talking about. Um, I just think that this Queen of Pentacles um, is very, um, yeah, she doesn't have to work hard. Let's just put it that way to get what she wants. And this poor person, whether it's you, Pisces, vice versa, if it's vice versa, your ex, blah, blah, blah. you know your story more than me. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, this is, a, it's all over the place. But nevertheless, someone's cheating um that's that's i feel that very strongly um as far as the the the, the people involved it's like a goddamn ch chess game i got knights queens kings <sighs> all right um i'm in the middle of the reading i don't know let's just, let's just <laughs> was happy though i i keep i keep saying i keep you know when i looked at it i said was happy and then my four wands was in the reverse. So, you know, I, I think that a lot of you, my Piscean, you were happy with your current partner. Um, if not, if it's not your current partner, it was your past partner, right? Nevertheless, it was a king of pentacles. This is a, um, you had a foundation with this person. Marriage, a commitment with children and stuff like that. Yeah, so when I see my Nine of Cups, it's like you were happy. You were happy. So either you're not happy anymore um, and you're cheating, um, but you're still with your King of Pentacles. Um, or, uh, something's making you happy, but the point is is that you were happy. My nine, of, my nine of Cups is saying that you were happy, but something's making you smile. Um... I mean, I guess you found somebody, you know, that it's making you smile. And, and I don't even want to say it's something else. If it is, it's for like one or two of you. Like, no, Leah, no, it's just I'm, I'm into my own project. And I'm really excited about my, um, you know, my <sighs> new um, career or something like that. No, I don't. That's like for one or two of you. This is this is a reading that, that's very specific. Very specific. My four wands in the reverse is it's a whole bro it's a broken relationship. This is this is a a whirlwind, Pisces. I hope I'm not losing anyone here, but l let's just clarify it. I know what it's saying. It's just that I don't know if there's four or five people in the picture, but I think I'm talking to two groups anyway. Nevertheless, uh, the story still applies. Okay. <laughs> Story still applies. All right, um, let's clarify this. Ten of Swords, uh, Four of Cups, and the Strength card. Yeah, see, this some of you think, okay. Some of you think that you're getting away with this. Put yourself in whatever, you know, situation you're in. Either you're cheating on your partner, your committed partner, or you just left a commitment to go into another relationship, okay? So you put yourself in that, those two situations because those, those are my only two situations, okay? Either you're cheating or you left your partner, um, for however long it is, but you left your partner, you mutually broke up um, to go into another relationship immediately. <sighs> um, you know, some of you really need healing. Um, some of you are very codependent. Um, if it's not you, it's your person, um, or wh however it may, may apply to you in your story. Um, yeah, you definitely, all this, oh God, 
this is just healing healing and you need more healing um my ten of swords to me seems like you were um you were betrayed yes i definitely sense betrayal but i don't think it's just you were just betrayed with um whomever it may be i i think that you like to unfortunately pick the wrong partners not not on purpose i just think that you come from a a past um where where you was just and it, it doesn't have to be a past it could be you know it's that question of you know nature versus nurture were you born to be codependent um you know to to you, to, you know codependent could, could come in in a couple of different forms but i think for you whoever i'm talking to is more um you know i i i need um attention i, I don't know why um you know again that could come in a couple of different forms do you need attention because you didn't get enough when you were younger um or you feel like you know you have abandonment issues um Codependency could be also something that come, comes from childhood, something that happened um, while you were young or maybe in your previous relationship that really traumatized you, or you're just born that way, I, you know, or did you were just born to be codependent, you know, and, 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 and rely on other people to make you feel better, um, to make you feel whole. Um, so this is what my Ten of Swords is, it's, is giving me, like, it's some type of... Um, some type of like um i i need people around me um and and a lot of it is sexual partners they're sexual partners um that makes you feel like you need to and i i honestly feel like i'm talking to a group of you that don't know that they're like this um Um, I'm, tr I'm sorry, I'm pausing because I'm trying to put it in the right form, but because I don't want to offend anyone, you know, everyone has their issues. And um, in this case, um, it kind of explains t to me personally, um, the way I'm reading your cards, um, whoever this resonates with, um, it kind of explains my, my person that's cheating. Or the person that's immediately jumped into a new relationship, because um, they they've been betrayed in the past, they've been lied to in the past, they've been abandoned in the past. Um, you know, they need stimulation from other people, mostly sexually. Um, they don't have the strength um, to be on their own. They just don't. Um, Meaning they need that like extra reinforcement of like, no, you know, I love you. I think you're amazing. You know, you're, you're very good looking. You have a wonderful body. Um, you know, the, the list goes on. Um, a lot of you um, are addicted to things, you know. Um, and people could be addicted to anything. It could be food, sex, um, drugs, rock and roll. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'm, I'm making light of it, but oh God, it could be, you know, a tattoos, people are addicted to tattoos, but you know, people could also um, suffer from, um, eating disorders. Um, I, whatever. I mean, you get the gist of it. Um, it, with my strength card in the reverse, it just, it's, it's honestly, all this energy is like all the same. It's all the same. Um, I, I spent like what, <laughs> six minutes on this spread because I don't want to offend anyone. I know exactly what this spread is telling me, this clarifier. And, um, and people think that, oh my God, you know, this person is an adult. They should know better. And, and yeah, maybe they should know better. Maybe they should have learned from their mistakes in the past, blah, blah, blah. But, you know. What people don't know or fail to realize is that why? Why are they acting that way? Not they should, they should, they should. It's, well, why? Where did this stem from? Do you know what I mean? This is this, is this person's energy. Last um, 
last uh, spread. Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Look at that. This is divorce. This is a heavy divorce uh, or divorce that's about to happen or whatever. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but a, definitely a commitment. I mean, I got my four of wands. I got my king of pentacles. My queen of pentacles was someone else. But again, it's still a very legit energy, like stable. Ten of cups with the emperor. Yeah, no. It's, um, yeah. Yeah, this is just a broken relationship. Um, and my and my emperor is very upset. Um, you know, this could be you, Pisces, vice versa, if it's vice versa, but um they didn't want that. They really want they wanted their ten of cups to work out. I do sense that both of you were very um what do you call that? Um you didn't you you were having your problems for a while, right? I feel like that you were having problems for a while. This is not something that you were like, oh, you know what? I think today I'm going to go cheat on my man or my woman. You know what I mean? Like, you were just like, you know, it's not working out. Because I do sense that some of you are, are still in a relationship in this, in this commitment. And maybe seeing other people, you know. Um, and I did sense that for, for, <laughs> for a group of you, they, your partner knows that you're cheating. And maybe this is an arrangement because you're both separated from each other. Look, she's gardening and he's he's playing his cello. And I'm not saying couples are not supposed to like do their own thing, you know, in a marriage or in a relationship. I just sense that with my ten of cups in the reverse, this was a long time coming. Um, Someone, I think both of you are very sad, but someone is more um, sadder, much more sadder than the other person. I think that the other, the other person really didn't take it, in, um, didn't take things into consideration. But uh, someone's emotion, someone's you know, uh, but again, I think it's it's stemming from this person's past. Um, and the emperor's trying to figure out well, why didn't it go this way? I, I understand everybody has their problems. Um, and, and my king, my emperor is my king of pentacles. This is the same energy. Like, I understand everyone has their problems, but... I mean, there could have been a better way to handle this. Um, yeah, I, I, I do sense that some of you are, you know, with someone that's um, emotionally immature. Um, meaning they don't know how to express themselves the right way um, in some shape, form, or other, you know? Some people may be like, no, they express themselves very well, I understand, but then there are some people that want more of a closure or more of an, uh, of an opening statement, you know? It's just... It's just the way it is. Everybody works in different ways. They think in different ways. They react in different ways. Um, and that's life, right? All right, to clarify it, I have the Wheel of Fortune, the uh, Nine of Cups again, and uh, my High Priestess. Interesting. You know, um, this one, for some of you, I just want you to know that you guys are going to work out. This is interesting. That's actually very cute. I think that um, there's a group of you that's having their rough patch um, in your marriage, um, in your committed relationship. You are having a rough patch. Um, and with my Wheel of Fortune, my Nine of Cups, and the high priestess in the reverse. Um, I just see that um, that y you'll overcome this. It's gonna take time. Oh yes, it's gonna take time. Um, but when I when I see the nine of cups here again in the upright, I just think and with the wheel of fortune right now, um, I just think that um, things are not going 
um, in your favor. There's something that you have to work um, together as a couple if you if you still want to be with your partner, if you still want to be with your partner. And I'm talking about the committed one, not the person you're cheating um, uh, with or um, you know the new relationship you just started. I'm talking about the one that you were with for a very long time. And, um, and I just think that the happiness is going to come. Um, it may not be working now. Everybody has their rough patches. They do. It's just whatever. It is what it is. I think there's a, there's a, some type of miscommunication going on here, um, where you can't, you can't figure it out on your own, meaning both of you together. You need like a mediator, um, marriage counselor, not Google or not your aunt. Okay, and not your father-in-law. I mean, granted, you know, elderly people do have amazing advice. But, um, you know, you know what I'm talking about. With the high priestess in the reverse, um, you know, it, I don't think you guys are quiet about this. I think that you, you guys are, are, um, are trying to be open about it. I think that here and there you guys do talk about, you know, your problems. Um, and, and, and this screams to me, all these three energies screams to me that you guys um, are not completely closed on, on leaving each other for the long haul. Yeah, not at all. I think that this Ten of Cups can definitely be in the upright. That's for a lot of you, not all. You know, you may be saying to me, no, it's not, no, Leonore, it's over, okay? I'm with my new boo. All right? This is my new boo right here, okay? <laughs> All right? Um, but yeah, th th that's your reading, my darlings. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I still see the four ones. The four ones is at the bottom of the deck um, in the reverse. And um, I just sense that, you know, for me to see it two times again, I saw it here in the reverse um, in your second spread. Um, I mean, God, I, I still, I mean, let me tell you something. With the four ones being the reverse two times here in your reading, I still feel the love. I still feel the love. I do. These are my two four ones in the two different tarot decks that I have. I I can't like I I, I mean first of all look at them in in the underneath the moonlight that's beautiful that's amazing. You know yes it's in the reverse but I do st still still feel the love with my four ones in my other tarot deck. I mean I don't know if you see the two angels. I feel like you know a lot of your soulmates. Some of them, you know, some people will say it's a twin flame card, right? With the 1111, you know, the twin flame card. But I, I sense more soulmate anyway, um, whatever it may be, divine partner, divine, whatever you go by. But, um, you know, look at them together. I just, just in love. You guys are in love, but you're having a rough patch. Um, and that's your reading. That's your message. Um, I don't know if that helped in any way. You could have been like, I already know. I already know all this, Leonore. <laughs> Do you have any sound advice? Um, you know, I tried to give you a little bit, of, um, if it helped in any way. But I'm not a marriage counselor. Anyway, moving on. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.